Um, I work for Union Investment Real Estate. We are the, the market leaders uh, in Germany offering open-ended real estate funds for the broad public. <coughs> for many years, we were actually number two in the hierarchy, and we always said that size doesn't matter. But since we've overtaken uh, and are number one, we think size is very important. It gives us scale and uh, market penetration, everything. Um, um, Union Investment uh, currently runs 20 real estate funds, uh, three of which are open-ended for the broad public, retail funds, um, and we manage uh, in the order of 30 billion US dollars. I can now say US dollars and euros interchangeably, which is easy for yes. no more need to, thanks to Mr. Draghi, to um, do the conversion. Um, we are invested currently in 24 countries, so we think we are global, but let's face it, the UN still has, uh, I think, 100 and uh, 90 countries which they um, officially uh, recognize, so we are core investors. Our source of money is very granular. Uh, we represent something like a million German savers who put money aside, uh, entrusted uh, onto us so that we invest it safely, which means they want the money back at some point, uh, ideally with some growth. Um, so we've got a universe out of the 190 countries in the UN which says we can invest in 36 core countries around the world. So we're in 24, we've got another 12 to go, and that's actually quite exciting. My role within Union is to um, look into transactions, in fact, uh, do investment management, buying and selling, uh, anywhere outside the Eurozone, which makes it funny for me to be on that panel, but outside the Eurozone now also incorporates, of course, uh, the UK, because uh, they will not join the Euro, they will actually even leave the European Union, which I think we'll be uh, touching on at that panel. So uh, uh, other than UK, I'm investing in the Americas, North, Latin, South, and Asia Pacific. So it's a broad um, geographical area, but when it comes to core safe haven money, it is actually quite a limited number of countries I'm covering. I look forward to that panel, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to explain who I am and what we're doing. Good morning, my name is Linus Forsberg. I'm the managing partner of Trenova Real Estate. We are a boutique investment management firm. Uh, we focus primarily on the UK market, although we do look at the Nordics as well. Um, we set up, myself, I was a principal at CBR Investors. Um, we set up in 2010 uh, together with a couple of uh, business associates and we wanted to offer a more tailored solution to, to investors in terms of the service provision, offering investors a bit of more influence and, and uh, over the world, uh, key decisions, and that has been quite successful. We peaked at AUM of eight, uh, 400 uh, million euros, um, and we, in 2014, started selling out of most of our assets in the UK, um, which we've done relatively well out of, I must say. Um, at the moment, we are looking, we've got a joint venture with a firm called M plus One, and uh, with them, together with them, and um, a number of our existing investors, we are looking at countries such as Germany, France, and uh, Nordics, and possibly also Italy. Um, and I'm very interested in hearing what the other people on the panel here would say. And, uh, Morning, everyone. Uh, Paul Jason from DLA Piper in London. Um, I don't know if anyone has visited the area around Hounslow and, and Southall in West London, which is where Heathrow is. But it's the sort of place that you wouldn't want to visit, but somehow gets more visitors than everywhere else. And I think. That th flow through of people into West London, which is not the, the best part of the world, represents also or is reflective of the role of, uh, of, of us as a professional services firm based in London. We're seeing capital flows coming in and out of London, people using London as a base regionally um, to invest money or to take money out of Europe and, and look to, to, to the US. So I think as, a, as an overview, we're able to um, see as, as lawyers a whole range of activity in the market, the likes of the Canadian and the, and the US pension funds looking at Europe uh, for value add and for um, hedge, uh, hedging or you know, spreading their, their allocation. We're seeing sovereign wealth funds from the Far East coming to London or through London and dipping their toe in the market, then going further else into, into Europe. Um, and we're seeing other funds um, choosing to base themselves in London um, for, for, for various reasons in terms of human resource and, and other reasons to, to, to be there. In terms of time zones as well, obviously London is, is, is very popular. For US investors, there is a slightly common language um, and it's only five hours time difference as well. So I, I think in terms of when we look at the, the market, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to talk about the, the trends that we're seeing. But um, I think there are the two main things that we'll, hope we'll probably focus on later on. One is the diversity of the market compared to this time, perhaps in the cycle in 2006. The type of investors, the type of investments that are being made 
is I think quite different. The the appetite and the attitudes of the the uh, the banks and the alternative credit providers is different, and also some of the subsectors um, that people are investing in, whether it's family office, which is relatively new in the UK. Um, the types of investments people are doing, how they structure them. JVs are particularly uh, popular. Martin will be able to talk about that much more than I will, particularly as it comes to the UK, bearing on their, their recent activity. Um, so l there's lots to talk about in the UK and, and, and further afield. Great, thanks. Good morning, everyone. I'm Laurent Dio, the CEO of Harvest State uh, Asset Management. It's a Paris-based, independent investment management and asset management firm specialized in real estate. Uh, in a few words, uh, we, we are a spin-off from the uh, largest French uh, real estate developer called Nexity, which is a listed company. I used to be a Nexity CFO for many years. And uh, we have now, as we are now independent, uh, the spin-off was carried out roughly a year ago. We are now regulated by the Autorité des Marchés Financiers, that is to say the French SEC, uh, to set up funds and regulate funds I mean, in compliance with the new AIFM uh, European Directive. You know, France and Europe is all about regulation. How the status of management as such is uh, specialized in mostly, let's say, value add, speculative investments, but we also uh, do some core asset management for uh, some of our institutional clients.